I'm Dr. Ryan Bailey. I'm a board certified pelvic floor physical therapist, and I am going to be showing you how to use dilators as one modality to treat pain with sex after having a baby. There are many reasons why you may be experiencing pain, and we want to make sure that we address all of those factors, not just the physical aspect in the pelvic floor. That may mean that you also have to dive into addressing emotional trauma that you experienced during your birth, or it might be looking into your hormone levels because you are um, doing extended breastfeeding. And so we also want to be looking at your whole body, not just the pelvic floor, but today I'm gonna to be showing you what dilators look like and how to use them as one technique. Dilators come in a variety of sizes. These are just four examples of that. And what we do is we really focus on your body's reaction to penetration. So if we take the smallest size of the dilators in this set, what we first want to do is you first with it um, cleaned and with lubricant on it, you bring it to the vaginal opening and you're just gonna rest it there. You can hold it, um, make sure that you are in a comfortable position, uh, that you feel calm and safe in the location that you are choosing to do this in. And once you've rested it at the vaginal opening, you want to see what your body's reaction is. Do you tense up? right? Like your shoulders going up to your ears, or are you able to stay calm and relaxed? If you tense up and you're, you feel uh, that pain, pain is starting to increase, then what you want to do is you don't want to proceed. You want to stay right here, or you actually want to back off a little bit. But if you stay here because you feel confident that you don't need to, um, go away from this area, but you just need some time, then what you can do is start to focus on your breathing. And, and when I say focus on your breathing, you want to do a relaxing breath. You want to inhale and think expand where the dilator is. And then as you exhale, you want to exhale out the tension. So you're going to inhale, expand where the dilator is, and then you want to exhale out the tension. And as you move through this calming breath, then you might notice that the sensations where the dilator is have changed and your body is feeling ready for it to insert. So when your body feels ready for that, you are going to slowly insert the dilator as far as it feels comfortable, which might only mean a centimeter or an inch depth. It might not be very far or you might be able to fully insert because this size feels comfortable for your body. If this size feels comfortable for your body, you can increase to the next level. But if it doesn't feel comfortable, stay with the smallest size. So you're really choosing the size that your body is ready for versus moving on to one your body is not ready for yet. So once you have inserted, again, you insert to the depth that feels comfortable, that feels safe, and then you find the point where your body starts to guard or to feel uncomfortable or it elicits pain, and that's where you want to stop. You don't wanna go any further. Once you have found that location, you are again going to breathe into where the dilator is. So you're gonna inhale, expand around the dilator. And when I say expand around the dilator, you want to imagine that you are filling up your pelvic bowl like a balloon. You're creating space in this area. You might need to actually inflate your belly a little bit um, to let go of some tension even in your abdominals. Um, and then when you exhale, you want to exhale out the tension without doing any contracting. You are just going back to a resting state. And you want to repeat that until you feel that your muscles, your body are calm and they're not responding with guarding tension or pain. 
as you move through these dilators, you want to gradually increase the sizes as your body allows until you find the size that is appropriate to your partner. And because that is what your body is going to need to be able to adjust to um, for, for uh, penetrative sex. So I'm moving up to a larger size. And once you have moved up to this larger size, you also want to be able to uh, tolerate movement and um, more uh, more often than not movement is going to be in and out movement so we want to move the dilator in and out and see how your body responds to that movement versus holding it there so you can again inhale as you slide in exhale as you slide out you can also reverse that breathing inhale to slide out exhale to slide in but really as we are sliding in we are really focusing on lengthening these pelvic floor muscles to make space that for the dilator and inhaling is the physiological uh reaction or response is lengthening of the pelvic floor. So as you try this in and out motion, it might feel a little uncomfortable. You might need to increase your lubricant. You might need to go really slowly. Um, you might need to twist a little bit. So you pause and you do a little bit of twisting. Again, go at the, the speed uh, that feels just right for your body. There's no no um, better than an other speed um, or depth. You just have to do what feels comfortable in your body um, so that you can progress versus having your body tense up because of the movement or because of the depth or because of the size. Once you have gotten to the size that matches your partner, then what you can do is prior to, to having sex, you can prep for that by, by working up with a little bit of dilator work. And so you can see, how is my body reacting in this moment? Am I able to stay calm? And then you can proceed with more of the intimacy. I, course that takes some of the spontaneity out of it but if you have been experiencing pain that is the way to go so again dilators are just one tool that we can use to start to help your body calm down and figure out problem solve why your pelvic floor may be reacting in this way if dilators are not enough for you, there are other tools and techniques to be able to use, which I am going to go over in other videos. If you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments below. I am also going to be putting a link to where you can purchase these dilators. Um, and if you use the link below, you will also be getting $5 off. Um, these have been de uh, developed by a physical therapist herself, um, and I, I really like them. So again, there's going to be a link in the bottom for $5 off, um, as well as put your comments and questions in below.